Let well, me, let's get let's get on to something yeah. more that's uh, happened as well. And mm -hmm. you know, the recently firing of Phil Jackson. Like, what do you think uh, about the situation? Like, did you think that he deserved to be fired? Do you think that there's something more than just you know the firing of him? It's, it's just uh, something about Carmelo, Kristaps. Yeah. What is going on with with uh, New York Knicks? What do you think? Um, Phil Jackson. Uh, he has a really good track record as a coach when it mm -hmm. comes to winning. Yeah. But his record with the Knicks as their president, it's not very good. I think it was like 30% yeah. mm. uh, win percentage. Wow. So, yeah, obviously it has a lot to do with that. You know, giving Melo a no-trade clause. Was something, I think. Yeah. Was, yeah. Do you think it was a mistake? or is this, Well, now it's biting them in the brain. You know? Yeah, they can't trade him. And it's up to Melo whether or not, you know, he... Can, he wants to get rid of that no trade clause, mm -hmm. and he's eating up a lot of their salary, and they pretty much can't sign anybody, you know, this off season. Mm -hmm. I think the team is fed up with this shit. Yeah, it's triangle offense. The triangle offense, <laughs> yeah. man. Melo doesn't mm -hmm. want to play triangle offense. Derek Fisher was came in to implement the triangle offense. A lot of Phil Jackson's coaches that he tried to, or assistant coaches that he tried to surround them with, tried to implement the triangle offense, and it seemed like I think Carmelo was a big roadblock to it. But uh, but. Chris Tapp actually liked the triangle offense. I know he he's just a very he's, he's a very, very versatile player. Oh, we got a call from Phil Jackson. Sorry. He's just <laughs> <laughs> just turn this off. Or just the way he plays. <laughs> is just, you know, um, it, uh, Chris Tapp is just you know a unicorn itself. He can play yeah. any type of offense just mm -hmm. so because of his skill set. He can he can put the ball in the basket. He can shoot. He can play pick and roll. He's very mobile, right? And, and, and that's something that you rarely find nowadays in big mans, yeah. right? So he was, uh, you know, probably one of the best things that you know, ever happened for Phil Jackson as a president, right. mm -hmm. if you think about it. So him, I have no problems with, but the rest of the decisions that was made in New York was something, you know, I was questionable with. I mean, Joakim Noah, Derrick Rose, the t trading Tyson Chandler. There's a lot of things that happened yeah. during the time of, uh, of Phil Jackson, tr mm -hmm. trading Iman Shumpert and... Uh, J.R. Smith for nothing and look at them having a championship like you know um, well, what do you guys feel like after this what's going to happen for New York after uh, well, the leaving of Phil Jackson yeah I'm hearing things about them targeting Masai Ujiri you know after his president yeah, yeah. Um, I don't know how what their plan is with that but um, he's not going anywhere <laughs> I hope <laughs> we're going to make him stay <laughs> <laughs> uh, speaking I mean I'm going anywhere how about the recent rumor? This is very good. I like this rumor of, of Jimmy Butler trying to lure Kyle Lowry to go to Minnesota and play with him with Towns and Wiggins and Rubio. What do you think about that rumor? I don't like this rumor. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think any Raptor fans do not like this rumor. Um, I say we burn that jersey then. <laughs> right in the front. Do, do you think he, he will, Lowry would be? Uh, I, he's actually one of my favorite players uh, for Toronto. Yeah. And, uh, Thanks to Ian, I've, I've, I've never been like an avid Toronto Raptors. Yeah. Uh, like I haven't watched them for a long time. Yeah. Since the days of like Vince Carter, Antonio Davis. Because oh, after that, yeah. I personally felt like I, I couldn't watch them anymore. Cause, yeah, they're garbage. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll say I it. I didn't no. say that. <laughs> uh, but you know, like the you. last couple of years with, uh, with, the new, with their players now, yeah. it, like I started getting back into it. Yeah. And Lowry's become one of my favorite. Yeah. Uh, but every, you know, the last two playoffs, I'm getting a little, um, how do I put this nicely? Depressed. Nice. Depressed? <laughs> the feel? Yeah, yeah, you got so, so nice. Well, you know, you got Lowry yeah. playing, you know, and um, what's his name? DeRozan. DeRozan yeah. playing really well during, yeah. you know, regular season. But the playoffs, it's like, you already know they're yeah. capable, but, uh, and I already know, like, you know, there's talks between people I know, like, you know, should Lowry stay? Or can we get someone better? Yeah. Um, but as a personal fan, I want him. I want yeah. him in Toronto. Yeah. Uh, but as for the makeup of the team, I'm not. You know, yeah. if if he if he is getting enticed, I mean, it's only more success for him. But I personally want him to stay. <laughs> I think so he's gonna leave. leave. He's, 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 I think he's, he's gonna, gonna leave. leave. You think he's gonna? Realistically, yes, because he's gonna want a lot of money. Yeah. yeah. And I don't think uh, the Raptors are gonna be able to afford him because we have other spots. You know, in the roster that we need to worry about. Yeah. We also have Ibaka, who's a free agent, PJ Tucker, and those are, if they left, those are gonna be two more big holes other than Lowry. Mm. Yeah. I actually think that they might, um, they, they are, I think he would go leave as well, just because of the fact that 
if it, this is the LeBron effect I've always talked about before, it's just because no matter they, I think that was their best roster they've ever had before, mm. and they still couldn't. They, they barely touched the Cavs, mm-hmm. yeah. right? And that's probably why I think Lowry wants to win a championship, and he wants to go to a team that has all the pieces together to win a championship. And I think Minnesota do have it. Unfortunately, it's sad to hear it. But, you know, I think the Raptors will find a way because we have Masai that's just going to work his way, right? 